Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. How are you guys doing today? Just gonna share you with the group. I hope you guys are all doing well. Was a scorcher out today here. Just sharing with the group. Hi Tina. So today I have a cute little project for you guys. Um, so hopefully you guys will like that. I was thinking end of the year, uh, teacher gifts, bus driver gifts, stuff like that. So this one's really simple. You can make a bunch of them up and give them out. They're really easy to make. So that's what's on the agenda today. Um, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the... Um, party is going on until june 14th if you guys have a party with me um you you are the host you sell 250 dollars or more hi donna um you get an extra 25 dollars in products from stampin up so at 250 dollars, you get 10 percent back in reward so that's 25 dollars you would earn and stampin up will give you 25 dollars. so that is an awesome deal. There's six more days. We can still throw you a super good party in six days. Um, all that you need to do is invite your family and friends. I can give you a link. It's super easy. Um, and we can just give you a link or we can have a Facebook party, whichever you would like. But I'd love for you guys to get those extra, those extra $25. I've had a few parties that were really good. And I'm so excited because the hostess, the hostesses have received lots of goodies. So that's always fun. Um, so that's going on right now. I don't know if you guys got in there and checked out all of the new kits. Hi, Deb. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad you finally made it. Um, I'm so happy to see you on here. Yay. Uh, the kits are awesome. If you guys haven't had a chance to take a look at them, go on our website and um there's lots and lots of kits on there so it is it is crazy how many kits that they have on there now and there's something for everybody so you have your super simple kits which you don't have any stamping in there it's just all put together um and you just go ahead and buy it and you you know they're all little pieces and stuff and you glue them together. There's kits with stamping in there, little um, stamp sets in there, and pretty much they're all ready to go. You just need like your paper snips um, or scissors. But yeah, and they are, they're very inexpensive. So it's a great thing, those kits are awesome. Hi, Patty. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to check them out, go ahead and check them out. I do have my card class up and running. It's the Hydrangea Hill card class. Um, I am a little behind. Ugh, the just, you know, life got the best of me. So the three of you that constantly buy from me, which is Donna, um, Diane, and Carrie, you guys, I'm going to send your kits out for free. Um, I still haven't made my video. Hopefully I'll make that tomorrow, but you guys are going to get the kits for free this month. Um, just because here it is the, what is it? The eighth already. And I still don't have them together, but if you guys, if anybody places an order on my website, you will get them for free. Um, any size order and it's six cards, three different designs, and you get all the materials to make the cards. Uh, you just need to provide your own glue and and inks and all that stuff, but you'll get all the paper products to make the cards. I can't I can't do any stamped images on there um, per Stampin' Up! rules, but they're super awesome. I mean, you get all the materials. You get to try different things uh, without spending a whole bunch of money. You get them for free if you place an order. You can also buy the kits outright from me. Um, they are $15, and that includes shipping. And if you're interested, just send me um, an email and I can send you out an invoice on them. They're very um, simple, so you don't need the actual stamp set. So I'm using the Hydrangea Hill for my uh, card kit. This uh, it's going to last for till the June 15th, but you don't need that. You can use any of your stamp sets and um, 
everything. But it's just nice because the Hydrangea Hill stamp sets, they do uh, coordinate. Yes, yes, you can coordinate. You can substitute your own stamp sets, and they're awesome. I just love them. So, and I love making them. I have a lot of fun making them. So, like I said, um, if you're interested in them, just let me know. But I think that's it. I think, oh, the last chance products. I want to just remind you guys if there's anything in there from the June, um, from the January to June catalog, a lot of that stuff is leaving us. So, Go in there, get your hands on those products uh, before they're gone, and they're gone forever. So um, they'll be gone by June 30th is the last day you can buy them. So I'm going to turn you guys down, and I'm going to show you guys. Let me just, let's see here. I always forget. It's the magic wand. I'm going to flip you guys upside down. It's the magic wand and then the tools. Okay, here we go. I'm going to flip you upside down, and now I'm going to flip you down. So you can see, it looks like you can see. So there's the current host code. Use that code with every purchase and that will get you my latest card class. If your order is $150 or more, do not use my code. You will get your own rewards. Plus you'll get that card kit from me for free anyways. So there it is. It's always listed on my website or it's pinned to the top of my um, Facebook page. So let's see here. Let me pull you guys up over here so I can see about your uh, comments here. I don't know why it's so... I can barely see the comments. Let's see. No, I don't want to hide the comments. I like talking with you guys here. Facebook is always messing things up. Just when you get used to something, um, they've got all this junk in front of here. Let's see if I can expand the video. Oh. Well, I can see your comments, but they're very, very tiny. I hate when Facebook messes things up. So let's see here. Let's get you guys. So here is what we are going to make today. I'm using the little mini jam jars. They're super cute. And inside is bath salts. So I thought these would be great to give away for your teachers, your bus drivers, um, anybody really. It's a cute little set. It's super easy to make. Um, I just went and bought the uh, big bag of the Epsom salt from, I think I got this from Walmart. Um, so I just got one of these and I'll just fill them up and decorate them. They're super easy to decorate too. So let's see here. Let me see if I can. I don't know what is going on with Facebook. Every time they change something. So it used to be able to see your guys' um, comments pretty good. But now I can't. So you're very, very tiny, the comments. Let's see if I can just see if I can minimize this. Uh, I cannot. All right. Well, we're going to work on it. So. Yes, it, they're so easy to do with the bath salts. So I did see that. <laughs> I did see your comment, Deb. Um, so let me show you guys how to make this because it's so easy and I love how it coordinates together and I love the colors that we use. So the mini jam jars, let me show you guys. You get six of them and you get six of them in a box. So this is one that's empty they come wrapped in this nice little plastic here and they're plastic jars so you don't have to worry about them breaking um so i just took one i've already filled it with my bath salts and then i'm going to show you how we can decorate it so i'm going to use the hydrangea set again i know i used it last week and it's in my card class but i just love this set i've used it a ton since it's come out um, it did debut in the mini catalog, so there is a suite that you can buy. Um, this is good until June 30th, uh, so you can get all of this, which I'm using all of these products in today's project. So you can get the whole suite, or you can buy everything separate. So if you do buy the stamp set and the dies together, you do save 10%. So um, that's 
that's the whole set here. These pearls are amazing. Everything about this set is awesome. So let me go ahead and bring in the stuff we're gonna use to decorate it. So I took for um, the measurements here, I took a piece of the Hydrangea Hill DSP and it measures 12, it, it actually measures one and three quarters by 12. I just cut a strip. So then what you wanna do is you wanna cut it by seven and one quarters. So that's gonna leave you a strip of one and three quarters by four and three quarters. You know, the way I said that, I think I just confused I don't know, did I confuse you? Because it sounded like it sounded very confusing to me. So what you do is you cut a strip of 12 by one and three quarters. So you have your strip. Then you're gonna go ahead and cut this at seven and one quarter. So I'll leave the measurements in the link of the video. And when you cut that, that's gonna leave this piece. So we're gonna use these both these pieces so no paper waste at all with this. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to wrap it. It's so easy. So I'm just gonna take some of the Stampin' Seal Plus because it is stronger. And I'm gonna put it on one end here. And then all you're gonna do is wrap it around the jar. Can't get any simpler than that, right? And then you're just gonna Press that down, make sure your ends are even so it doesn't look all wonky. That's it. So that was pretty easy. So now that the jar is wrapped, um, the top here, these fit the layering circles perfectly. So this is the mercury paper. Um, you can get it in the suite or you can buy it separately. It has a silver side and then you have, there's four sheets two are gorgeous grape and two are rococo rose which i know that is expired um you know that color is no longer with us but you can still get this paper until june 30th so you get like i said four sheets and on the back side of it is the silver and then you have your colors so i use the layering circle dies to cut that and I'm not sure which one I used. I think it's, is it this one? Yes, it's this one. So it is the one, two, three, fourth smallest scalloped. And that fits perfectly on top of that lid. And then I took, I think this is the third, yes. So then on the layering dies, I took a piece of basic white and I believe it's the third one. One, two, three. Yes, so it's the third smallest on the um, regular circle scallops. So, and I wanted, you could do the second or the fourth, is it the fourth smallest? Let me see. I think it's the fourth smallest. Nope. be the well anyways it's the third smallest here that gives you and it gives you that nice little frame on there so let me go ahead and show you all I did was I took some stamp and seal plus to put this down but before we do that see how I have my little tag in there I'll show you we just took some ribbon and did that but let's I'm going ahead of myself here um Let's see here. Yeah, the, the layering circles, Deb, oh my gosh, I use them all the time. It's like a go-to in my arsenal of dyes, I guess. So before we go any further, I'm going to do the stamping on this little circle here. So in this Hydrangea Haven, so many awesome stamps in here. So many nice sentiments. I love the fonts. In here, there is a small little flower. Where is it? Right here. There's a small little single flower. And then there's also a small little leaf here. So we're going to use both of those with Tuxedo Memento Black. 
Does anybody else like say it like that? Tuxedo Memento Black. I feel like I feel like it's so long to say that. I guess just Memento is fine. Anyway, so I'm going to take the little flower here and I'm going to stamp it three times, kind of clumped together. Right in the center, I guess. And then I'm going to take this little leaf here and I'm just going to go crazy with it. I'm just going to stamp it wherever. There's no rhyme or reason to where I'm stamping it. I love this little leaf. It's so cute. I'll do one more maybe. Like I said, I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Just go crazy with it. Before we put this away, um, I'm going to finish up well, not finish up. Well, I guess I'll finish up the stamping. So we're going to set that aside to let that dry because we're going to color it with our Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to bring in a piece of basic white. So with this basic white, we're going to do a, um, we're going to stamp out the large flower in there. Let me just clean up my stamps here. I'm just using my Simple Chamois. I have two of them. This one I like to use for the memento because it does stain. And then I have a newer one down here, which I'll use on my for the regular inks. And then, you know, once this one gets bad or once they get really bad, I'll, I'll replace them with a new one. But I've had this one for a long, long time. So I do like this, the simple chamois because there's nothing to it. You just add water to it and then you just wipe off your stamps and you're good to go. It's great for if you're doing a lot of stamping. Um... It's an easy cleanup for your stamps. So in here, I'm gonna take out the large flower. We're gonna do some, we're gonna stamp with that. One of my stamps just fell on the ground and I think it was one I needed. Yep, it was. Of course that happens all the time, right? Just see if I can find it. Oh, I found it, oh good. It had to be the smallest one in here, too. Okay, so I'll just put these away here. Yeah, that is the Murphy's Law of stamping, isn't it? Yeah, I am so happy this Hydrangea Haven stamp set is sticking around in the dies. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love the paper. I'm devastated that is retiring. But they always end up bringing in more paper that I fall in love with and then forget about this other stuff. <laughs> so I'm just inking this. Because it's a larger stamp, I'll take my um, Memento pad and I will just place it on top. It's easier than trying to take the large stamp and place it on your ink pad. You get a better even coverage of your ink too, doing it this way with the larger stamp. So I'm just gonna stamp this down. I love the way this stamps too. Doesn't it just stamp so beautifully? So you have a couple of options with this. You can color it, um, or in the stamp set, they provide you with these backgrounds, which that's what we're going to do. This is going to um, be stamped over the flower, and then this is going to be stamped over the stem. So I'm going to pull those out. Now, to save time, I've gone ahead and I've already cut this out. So here it is, already cut out. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that. I use the die in here because I bought the, the stamps. I always buy, if there's a matching die set, I always have to get the dies with the stamps. Plus you're saving money. So um, this is what I use to cut that out, just the outline. There's also this awesome stamp that cuts out and you can pop those little petals up. I think I, pretty sure I showed you guys in the last video about that, but um. So that's the die cut that you use to cut out the silhouette of this flower. So with this, 
I'm using uh, Highland Heather and Granny Apple Green. So what I'm gonna do is, let me bring in a scrap piece of paper. I think I have one here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, ink it up with my Highland Heather, and then I'm gonna stamp it off once because I don't want it that dark. So I've stamped it off and then I'm gonna take and stamp it over the flower. Now this will not line up perfectly. Um, it's meant to overlap the flowers. So just go ahead and make sure you stamp all of your little petals out. And I'm just gonna ink that down. And I love that look. I love the lighter look to that. So if, you know, when you first stamp it down with that, it's, it would be really dark. But I love how light and faded that is. So I'm going to do the same thing with um, the Granny Apple Green and the leaves. So let's bring those in. Oops, my little end of my leaf was sticking off. I think I need a bigger block. Let me see, grab this block. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing, ink this up with my granny apple green. I'm gonna stamp this off once. And see how you have that shading in there? That's how it's supposed to be. Um, I've had some people ask me, oh my gosh, I'm doing something wrong. Nope, that's the way the stamp is designed to give it that look. So then you're just going to line this up with your leaves. Stamp that down. Yes, watercolor look. Thank you, Deb. I cannot even remember that. <laughs> it gives it that nice watercolor look. So isn't that super pretty? So I love that. And then the last bit of stamping I want to do, and then we can put all our ink up, um, is with this little gift, the perfect size card are these basic white note cards. I believe there's vanilla note cards too. So I love the note cards. I have a bunch of them on hand. I'm always using them. They measure um, three by five. Or three and a half by five. Does it say on here? Yes, three and a half by five. So I'm going to go ahead and open these, hopefully. And you get 20 in a pack. Wow, very hard to open. You get 20 in a pack, and you get 20 envelopes. So I love that you get the envelopes right included. And they're awesome for little gifts. I use them a lot. Little thank yous. Yeah, they work awesome with gifts. So I'm going to take one out. And Deb likes to always decorate her envelopes. I never decorate my envelopes, but it's always so pretty to decorate the envelopes. I never think about it. But when I watch Deb do her videos, she decorates the um, envelopes and they look so pretty. So with this... They're gonna be pre-scored, so you just fold it down the scored line, and then you guys see me use my bone folder, I love that. So in, where is my stamp set? In the stamp set, there are so many awesome sentiments in here to use. I'm gonna use the world is better because of you, because that'll be great for any of the teachers or bus drivers or anybody that I give these to, um, and I love that. So I'm going to take this, and where is my memento? There it is. I'm going to use the memento ink again. We're going to ink that up. And I'm just going to stamp this right on the bottom right-hand corner. Oh, no. See that? You know what, though? I think my, yep, my paper will go over that. So no worries. I'm going to stamp this down in the bottom here as straight as I can. Perfect. 
And that's it for the stamping. So we are all done stamping. My dogs are barking every Tuesday. They bark. <laughs> so then you have that piece left over from this piece that we put around the jar. And I'm just going to use some stamp and seal. You can use whatever kind of glue you have on hand. And before we put this down on top of there, I'm going to bring in some of the Sheer Gorgeous Grape Ribbon. Where did I put it? Right here. So I'm going to cut a big enough piece so that it goes over and then it laps around the back like I always do. You guys, you guys know my ribbon trick by now. So I'm going to just put this right in the center. I think I did a little too tight here. My fingers are sticking. I shouldn't have put all that glue on there. So and then you can kind of line it up so it's not crooked. And then we're going to put this over the front and it'll cover up that little smudge of black ink. And line this more towards the top, I think. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to bring in this piece. Remember this piece we stamped at the beginning? Let's see. Where are my Stampin' Blends? I have the Light Highland Heather and Granny Apple Green. And I'm just going to go ahead and just color these in with the Stampin' Blends. Yeah, no one will ever know that that little black mark is there. I like to, if a, there's never a mistake in crafting. It's always a chance to use an embellishment. Because we know we all have lots of embellishments on hand or ribbon. And then I'm going to use my Granny Apple Green. Color in all these little leaves. These bath salts smell wonderful too. But I love that we can use our Stampin' Up! products not just for cards or scrapbooking, but you can use them for gifts. You can use the DSP for gift wrap. Uh, you can make bags out of them. There's so many things you can do with them. So, oh, you know what? I lied to you guys about our stamping, and I can't find it. now. Oh, here it is. Lied to you guys about stamping. There's a little tag in here. This little guy here comes with the set. And I cut this out with Highland Heather. So I'm going to bring back in the Memento because not done stamping. In the stamp set, there's this For You. That's the one that I threw on the floor earlier. Let's see where I put it. Right here. So I'm going to ink that up. And then I'm going to kind of angle it on the tag just to just because, and it fits perfectly on that tag. It's like the tag was made for that. <laughs> okay, now I promise you we are done stamping. Yeah, that, that tag is so cute. I love that little tag. So now we're just going to put everything together and make some room here. Um... This guy here, I'm going to use the Stamp and Seal Plus because I want to make sure it stays on top of that lid. So I want to use my strong adhesive. And I just put a bunch of it here before I put it down. Where's that gorgeous grape ribbon? Where did I put that? Right here. So we're going to take a little bit of this ribbon. Not much. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it at an angle. little trick for you. 
this angle, if you cut it at an angle, you can slip the ribbon in way easier than if it was straight edged. So you're gonna slip it in that little spot there, that little hole there for the tag. And then I'm gonna kinda put it underneath here. And then I might go ahead and put just a little bit more glue on there to make sure it holds. And then this is gonna go right on the top. And then there's your little ribbon just hanging out. You don't have to worry about tying a knot or anything. So just like that, isn't that cute? And then this guy here, I'm gonna do the Stampin' Seal Plus again, just because it's going on top of that paper. I wanna show you guys something too before I go too far, far with that paper. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda of center that, just like that. This mercury paper, let me see if I have any handy. I wanna show you guys. There's a, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this or not, but there is, I don't know if I have a piece that doesn't have, that has it on it. Oh yes, right here. So this mercury paper here, it's so pretty. On the back side, on the silver part, before you do your cutting with it, there is a plastic film that you must take off. It makes life so much easier when you take off the plastic film. All you need is your take a pick tool or your fingernails. You can get it started. There's this piece of plastic film. You pull that off of there and it's gonna cut way better than it when it's on. It is. It does not cut very well when it's on. So just a little tip trick for you guys. Any of this acid paper like this, has this film on the back and you want to pull that off before you use it. So, um, I know the hard way. I, you know, I seen somebody else. I'm like, why is this so cutting so hard? Not with this one, but they had acid paper out before the mercury acid paper. And I had the heck of a time cutting it through my, um, embossing machine. And then I realized there's plastic on the back and it has to be pulled off. So with this, the other thing I want to do is take some more of this. This is the Gorgeous Grape Sheer Ribbon. Super pretty. This comes with the sweet if you do buy the sweet. I'm just going to take a piece big enough to wrap around the jar. And then just kind of... I'm not going to make a bow. I'm not good at making bows. I'm just going to tie it into a knotted... Into a knot, I should say. And then I'll just trim it. So it's like that. And then we're going to take our beautiful flower. And I use some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals on this just to pop that up on the card. I like to use a lot of the dimensionals because they're fairly cheap. And if you don't use enough, then your projects tend to sag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those off, those backings. That's one of the benefits of having nails. You can get those backings right off. Then I'm just gonna kinda angle this flower here on the card. And then I'm gonna do a couple of things before we're done. Where's my Wink Estella? I think I put it back. Let's see. Is that the Wink of? Yes. So Wink Estella, love Wink Estella. I have several of these on hand. Um, let's see if I can get this off here. There we go. So it comes with a little paintbrush tip. And inside here, there's all kinds of glittery, fun stuff. And you just you squeeze the tube. And then you'll see it come down into the paintbrush and then you just paint it all over whatever you want to paint it on. So I'm just going to put this on top of this flower and it's so pretty when it dries. And the nice thing is once it dries, it doesn't come off. It's not like glitter where it comes off and it stays put. So I don't even know if the camera's picking up all this pretty glitter stuff but it's really pretty. 
And then I'm going to bring in the pastel pearls. These come with the suite if you want to buy the whole suite together or you can purchase them separately. So to finish it off, I'm going to take the gorgeous grape pearls here and I'm going to put them right on top of the flower. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see that. And then I'm going to put one on the tag, the little for you tag. I'll put one right down here. And then that's it. How simple was that? You could rattle off a bunch of these and your teachers or your bus drivers or whoever you want to give them to will love them. So you guys can kind of see that shimmer. So super easy to make. And like I said, those note cards are awesome. So I'm going to leave all of the directions or all the measurements in the video description and everything that I used. So I hope you guys liked that little project. Let me flip you guys up upside down let's see where'd my little upside down thing go there we go so that was it to today's little project i hope you guys liked it um thank you guys so much for being here and joining me again on a tuesday hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and i will talk to you guys next tuesday same place same bat channel and um I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you guys so much.